Summer rains have put the construction of the Lazon landfill behind schedule by about a month. That's what the president of the firm in charge of building the landfill, the Meta Pacific Corporation's Tom Nielsen, told federal judge Francis Tidinko Gatewood today at a quarterly status hearing on the Lazon plan. And the special principal associate for the federal receiver overseeing the landfill work, GBB's David Manning, says the delay is a serious concern because the construction project is just one expected. part of the landfill uh, project. You know, it, it rains out here. <laughs> and uh, and it rain, it's rained a lot in the last month or so. Uh, so that, that presents but, uh, a problem. But I think that uh, Maida is committed. Uh, I know the court's committed. We're committed to doing everything that's humanly possible. To, to get this done uh, within a time frame. 743 days remain until the closure of the ORDOT dump, but Lieutenant Governor Mike Decrease Cruz says he is hopeful that some new scales installed scales there will provide a more accurate count of the volume of trash that comes in daily, and that could buy Gov Guam some added time. I'm hoping that because there's been a a decrease in the estimate currently based on the scales that the amount of tonnage going to the ORDOT dump now is less than they anticipated that maybe that might even get us a little bit more space on the amount of time left but uh, we're working very aggressively. In court this morning, GBB's Manning said environmental permits are in the works for the landfill. GBB also displayed these sample trash carts for the court saying the firm's cart rollout plan is gearing up. But a key highlight at the hearing today was the judge's order for GovGuam to work with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to relocate a colony of endangered Guam tree snails from the area of the E-League Bridge, a vital roadway leading to the new landfill. Department of Public Works staff told the court that GovGuam is seeking a new home for the snails and work to reinforce the bridge to accommodate dump trucks is on hold until they are out of harm's way. The court also heard from Guam EPA Administrator Laura Lee Chrysostomo, who asked for help in getting the funding her agency needs to do the regulatory work required for the landfill. And Chrysostomo took time to address concerns raised by Senator Rory Respicio about possible permit violations at the Lazon site. Within our purview, we do not see any violation, okay? Um, he's brought some other things that is outside Guam EPA's regulations. Meanwhile, Judge Tidingo Gatewood asked Chrysostomo to submit a budget to the court for the added funding support her agency needs. Stefan Sebastian, PNC News.